Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this particular stylish interior over here. So let's continue it. So very first of all, what I'll be doing over here, I have already created all of this, the walls and the chairs and the table and some of the assets. So definitely we'll be continuing with few of the more things over here. So let's just take a box over here. So before we start up, we can slightly just push it a bit behind over here. Let's go to the top view over here. I'll just create a box like this and I'll slightly just shuffle this up. So once you shift this up over here, so definitely this is not going to be in the camera. So it would be like this. So convert to editable poly. So let's convert to editable poly. Let's go into this, select this edges over here. And let's give two connects over here. So select the vertices, press R and I'll slightly just scale this again press again go into the edges let's give two corrects over here again select the vertices and I'll slightly just push it over here in this way So now after that once you're done again you can just select this edges select this edges and let's give two connects select the vertices slightly just scale this again select this edges give two connects So I can slightly just push this down if required. I'll select the vertices. I'll push it over here. I'll push this over here. In this so as you can see, we have got some space. Now I'll again go over here, select this polygons. Slightly I'll give a bit of inset to it so we can assign a bit of inset and let's extrude it in negative axis so i'll just extrude this in negative axis and let's click ok so you got the open space over here now so now we can create the assets over here which are left to be created so for that Let's again go into this. So I'll again slightly just So select this, take a box, activate the auto grid over here. So I'll just slightly scale this. So convert to editable poly, select this, select the edges, slightly give chamfer to it click ok we will not do that much of details over here for now so I'll just place this over here and I'll duplicate it so you can just duplicate these things 
So you can just see what the props are. After that, we can again go over here. Instead of this, I'll I'll create the books only. I'll slightly rotate this over here in this way. Again, I'll duplicate it. I'll slightly rotate it. Again, I'll do copy it. I'll just push it in this way. That's it. Now, again, I'll go over here. I'll again take a box over here. So definitely we need to take out some textures over here. So convert to editable poly. Select this polygons and I'll slightly give a bit of inset. So again go into this. Again take a swift loop. Now, and isolate this. Select this polygons. slightly scale this we'll put it in this way slightly I can rotate it see although it's not going to fully visible we'll be definitely putting up a camera over here accordingly to adjust the perfect view over here so now again I'll go into this I'll just save this file now the second part over here is like creating this kind of a radio for that you can again go over here let's take a rectangle push this over here and convert to editable spline select the vertices Let's give a bit of fillet to it and let's give a extrude modifier. So let's just assign a extrude modifier over here. I'll increase its amount a bit over here and convert to editable poly select the polygons slightly give a bit of insert and let's again extrude this click ok now again select this edges let's give connect Select the vertices, slightly just push this up, again select this, give some loops, just adjust it in this. After that, you can again go over here, let's take a cylinder. So let's just take a cylinder, I'll activate the auto grid part, push this up. Okay, before that, I'll again select this whole thing, 
slightly give inset and let's extrude it a bit inside that's it so select this part go over here let's give a taper modifier place it in this way convert to editable poly select the polygons like this select the polygons in this way and extrude it and slightly just reduce it in this way now again just duplicate it in this way let's click ok right click and I'll end isolate this you can slightly scale it if required over here and you can just place it over here now again you can go over here take a line tool let's take a simple line just drag it straight click over here. after that you can go into the modifier and let's give a lathe modifier and make it max go into the line go into the vertices select this now select the vertices and let's give a fillet give a bit of fillet So slightly just shuffle this up, place it in this way, oops you can slightly just scale it and make a copy of it. Alright, so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So few things are left to be modeled will be doing up in the coming tutorial. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.